Apparently there's some PlayStation event going on right now, and they dropped this Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales PS5 gameplay demo as a fan of the Spider-Man PS4 game. I cannot wait to check this out. I thought the teaser trailer for this was awesome, so let's see what's in store today. those pages. It's too cold to change out here. Dang, I'm late for Mom's rally. Oh no. <laughs> See, this is my favorite part of living in Harlem. Pop-up street fair, best food in the city, awesome music. This would be great for the last meet I was working on. I should get back into music. Yeah, it's been a while. What do you think about Rio Morales? You gonna vote for her? <laughs> <laughs> She's been a teacher my whole life. Similar skill sets, right? Corralling people, educating them, making sure they don't throw things at each other. Hi, I'm Brian Horton, creative director at Insomniac Games. Hey, buddy. We're excited to show you this first look at gameplay from Marvel Spider Man Miles Morales. Our story picks up one year after the events of the first game. Okay. And we find Miles' new home, Harlem, is in danger. Trouble brews while Miles' mom, Rio Morales, leads an election rally. Okay. War between the devious energy corporation of Roxxon and the underground. <laughs> a high tech criminal army led by the Tinkerer starts to break out. No way. In this game uh. sequence, captured on PlayStation 5 hardware, the underground attacks Roxxon, sending the rally into chaos. Ooh. It spills onto the Breakaway Bridge, where the underground tries to steal Roxxon's experimental energy source, New Form. Let's take a look. <laughs> Let's not shoot each other, all right? Here we go. Boom! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait to play this. I cannot wait. What 
don't have any combo. Oh, nice. Oh. Let's get flush, huh? Ooh. Look at the surround sound, too. <laughs> Whoa! Those camera angles. Hell yeah. No. Oh, that's great. That's great. Come on, bus driver. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. Love how this this whole thing was brought together because they did it in a way where they didn't really reveal much of the plot. <laughs> you think they're setting you up because they say it takes place one year after the last game. If you haven't played that yet, please do yourself a favor. Play that video game. All right, they're going to confirm some theories that we had about like the possibility of Peter Parker being dead. Uh, information such as that. I imagine that's probably the case right now. Either way, what we got here, you know, you obviously get to show off a little bit more of what makes Miles Morales' Spider-Man different than Peter Parker's Spider-Man. A lot of video games you usually have to upgrade your combos and such and moves and maneuvers as you keep playing the game you start earning points and whatnot or you know collecting items to upgrade and it seems like here very early on that you're equipped with a lot of different combinations very early on one thing that i love that the spider-man game does um is they are so seamless with transitioning mm -hmm. through these cinematics and especially during the action sequences these fight scenes where you have to you know you have to like really rapidly press a button or something like that in the middle of a cinematic that's going on. Those are always very exciting and make the game feel that much more cinematic and visceral and it feels like it's happening here. I'm trying to like search online. The voice sounds like Yuri of the villain. I'm not that familiar with uh, Tinkerer is the name of this villain. Uh, mm. I'm not that familiar with that character. The voice sounded like the voice of Yuri. I could be wrong about that. Be curious to know what your guys' mm. thoughts are on it. And the other thing too that I noticed was when the graphics came up at the end, it said PS4. So I'm wondering if this is also going to be available for PS4. It must be if they're including the old logos, yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, I mean, PS4 has probably still got a little bit more legs left on it before they full-on transition out of making games for it entirely. So it'll probably, yeah, just be a little less nice looking than it will on PS5. But yeah, this was like a super enthralling trailer, and it's funny because it reminded me, or a demo, I should say, it reminded me of the Avengers one, just because, like, the big action set piece takes place on a bridge. And yet, for some reason, this one pulled me in 
that much more and it felt even more like you're really in the shoes of the hero. And I thought that was one of the coolest mm. parts of this. Just the scope in general of being in Miles Morales' shoes, watching as like parts of the bridge fall out and having that, I mean, I'm sure that, you know, this is incorporated in other superhero games too, but I liked how they also focused on, it's not just about fighting the bad guys, but it's also about, you know, rescuing people and, and you know, maneuvering around falling debris and stuff like that. And so, yeah, just little taste of like the worlds that we'll get to see, like the Harlem sequence I thought was really beautiful. That little uh, piece of dialogue that clues you into his mom running for office and that being part of the story. Yeah, this is just looked like a f really nice blend of a Spider-Man movie with a Spider-Man video game. Oh yeah, I mean, right when they came to the connecting bridge part, it was just so apparent yeah. that he was gonna be doing that at some point. Mm -hmm. Which reminds me of the fairy scene from Homecoming, mm -hmm. or makes you me like this is, it was a fairy scene from Homecoming and making me flash back to even uh, the Spider-Man 1 sequence in a way. Having that here was just so grandiose <laughs> in, in every sense imaginable. I only played Sp the PS4 version of Spider-Man a few months ago. It's only been a few months, but the graphics certainly do look sharper than the previous game. And this is only a demo of what we're at right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously you can see when he goes into camouflage mode, there's a lifespan on the camouflage as well. Otherwise this game would be way too easy to <laughs> just camouflage your way through every fight. Because I like how in the middle of the fight, you can camouflage yourself. Yeah. And they're like, where'd he go? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, totally. There's so much here to look forward to. and. I don't recall the PS4 one going to Manhattan. I mean, it's pretty vast for how much you can explore mm -hmm. of New York City in the other one. Uh, I don't recall them going to Har- I know you play as Miles Morales uh, briefly, obviously not as Spider-Man in that game. Yeah, I don't recall being Spider-Man in Harlem, saving the people there. Got some to look White savior! To. <laughs> that's that's right. what they should have done. <laughs> yeah, it should be Peter Parker in Harlem. That's yeah. what they should have flipped it to. Yeah. <laughs> They're only teasing the Tinker here. But you know, the last game had a wide plethora of villains. And the first trailer for this game showcased more than one villain. I don't know exactly what they're gonna be building up to. Imagine like the way how they had Mr. Sinister as the main villain essentially, but then it was kind of like also Doc Ock, you know, mm -hmm. it, who they were maneuvering around in terms of villains. So maybe it starts off with Chinker is the main villain, but then maybe there's a even bigger baddie on the horizon that Miles Morales has to take down. We'll see guys, we'll see. Right now, everything we're getting, I, I can imagine this being game of the year. They also got God of War, uh, the Ragnarok game that they just did a showcase for as well, so. Funniest let's, God of War yet. Let's see what we can do, guys. So what did you think about this trailer? Subscribe to The Real Rejects, click that notification bell. Last but not least, <laughs> I would like to shout out today a man named Scuba Steve. Scuba, it's been a while since I've heard from you, dude, but Halloween season is approaching right now. I know you're a huge fan of horror, so I'm really hoping I could hear back from you as soon as possible to see what the hell it is you're catching up on. Recommend us stuff. And also knowing, you know, what your love life is like. I know we constantly used to talk about that in your mm. dating life, and then honestly, with horror movie season coming around, people want to kind of just Netflix and chill, quarantine up together. Now could be your time to hook some ladies in Candyman style. Mm. Kill them. Yes. Murder them in your home and then graffiti them. Them with your spray painting abilities. And make them say your name a lot in the mirror until they are just like full on, all they can think about is Scuba Steve before they die. That's how hey I want to go. Just looking let's, at you. Let's not make this about you, John. That's how everyone should be lucky enough to go, is at the hands of Scuba Steve. Take care, Scuba.